Hi guys and girls, before we start this video I just want to apologize for not putting out that many videos. I'm going through something but a very important person said I should do my best so I'll do my best to bring these videos you know as soon as I can. Today we're gonna be taking care of the fire rate so how fast our gun shoots. It's gonna be a pretty simple video and then next time I think we'll do uh, using ammunition and reloading. Currently you can just shoot, uh, you know, every frame, but we want to fix that. So we're going to have to go to our weapon shoot script, our weapon shooting, open that up. As you can see, whenever we shoot here, we're not actually doing any kind of a check to see if we have, you know, um, some kind of a time frame or something like that. So I'm actually going to split this into two. Uh, first off, I'm going to change the name of this function up here to raycast shoot. And then I'm going to create a new one, private void shoot. Okay. So first thing, of course, I want to get the current weapon. So I'll go ahead and say weapon is equal to inventory. Oh, sorry. Uh, weapon, current weapon is equal to inventory dot get item manager dot currently equipped weapon like that. And now we have a reference to that. Okay, in order to do this, we're going to actually need a variable in our weapon scriptable object. So go ahead to that and I'm going to add a new public float called fire rate. Okay, and uh, the way this is going to work, it's so if it's like 0 0.25, you'll be able to shoot every 0 0.25 seconds. And now in weapon shooting, what we can do is check if time that time, which is, you know, just time in the game starts from zero and then goes up is less than and then we're going to need a new variable so I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to create a new private float last shoot time okay by default let's set it to zero here and then I'm going to check here if time dot time is less than last shoot time plus uh, weapon or current weapon dot fire rate. Okay, my bad. This should not be less than it should be more than Okay, that makes much more sense So if time that time, let's say we've been playing for 10 seconds. We did not shoot yet So this is 10 and this is you know 0 plus whatever your fire rate is. Let's say 0 0.5 seconds so if 10 is bigger than uh, 0 0.5 then we want to shoot but let's say we shoot at 10 seconds now this is 10 uh, point 0.5 okay because 10 plus 0 0.5 and then we need to wait uh, and then this variable needs to be bigger than that in order to shoot which you know technically it waits for 0 0.5 seconds and then shoots okay so only when time that time goes um, above 10.5 then we'll be able to shoot hopefully you understand that let's just debug that log shoot just so we can see whenever it happens. And then we also have to say last shot or last shoot time is equal to time that time. So we set it to the time, you know, where we last shot. And then I'm going to call raycast shoot. And just to optimize this a bit better, I'm going to go up to raycast shoot. I'm going to add a new weapon, current weapon. And then I'm going to pass the current weapon that we get here. And then I can uh, use that current weapon to get these variables. So current weapon range doesn't actually have to be equal to this. It can just be current weapon dot range. I just think that works a bit better, you know. And now if you go into Unity, go to your scriptable objects. For example, for the AK-47, I'll set the fire rate to 0 0.5. For the knife, it will be 1. M24 or the sniper, let's say 1.5, M1911, let's say 0 0.3, and Remington, I'll say um, maybe like 1.5 as well, or let's say 1.25. You can play around with these. I'm not actually sure if you know they can shoot as fast, but it's my game and I can make you whatever I want. Okay, now if we play, and let's for example take our shotgun in. And now we can shoot, so you can see if I shoot, and if I try clicking it again, it only happens 
every 1.25 seconds okay uh, but I also maybe want to be able to uh, shoot by holding down the mouse button uh, thankfully the way we made it we can just remove here input.get key down and say input.get key and now you can you know hold your mouse and it will shoot let's take uh, let's take our AK and see how that works so if I just click it you can see it shoots what every 0 0.5 seconds and if I hold it you can see it shoots every 0 0.5 seconds as well okay so that's it for this video once again, I just want to apologize uh, about not making videos. I'll try and do it. I'll do my best to keep them coming. Thank you for watching, and hopefully you learn something new. Okay now, bye-bye.